Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be jumping into the Abyss of Legends with a 6 star rank 3 Cosmic Ghost Rider. So Cosmic Ghost Rider, man, I absolutely love this character. We made a video on him already today, talking about his abilities, really how he works, and showing him in uh, Realm of Legends without any synergies or anything like that, no suicides, uh, and he destroyed Winter Soldier. It was, it was a pretty clean fight. And then we also jumped into Labyrinth of Legends, put on uh, some synergies, some suicides, that good stuff. And then we destroyed Star-Lord. And that was only with a 565. We were hitting the damage cap on our mediums. It was crazy. If you guys have not checked out that video already, you should. Uh, you can learn a lot about Cosmic Ghost Rider. Really go over yeah, his, how he works and his cycle and how I like to play him. And little niche tips and tricks that you probably won't find in other videos. Because there was one thing that I uh, showed that I didn't even see in his abilities reading it anywhere. I had to figure it out on my own. Um, but yeah, so I, I figured, you know, let's really put this guy to the test and take him into the Abyss of Legends. So now the real problem with Cosmic Ghost Rider is um, it, it's it, it, I think it, it's what balances him out. Because if it wasn't like this, oh, he'd be so easy to play. And then, but it, it, it's worth it because of how how much reward it gives you, but it's, it's very hard to pull off. So basically what I'm talking about is to get off your special two, Judgment of Precision, you have to use your special two without having Dex and triggering that judgment first, because basically how Cosmic Ghost Rider's judgments work is um, whenever you gain a buff, uh, each buff has a corresponding judgment that triggers, and you can get the buff from any single source. It doesn't matter where it's from, it could be from a node, it can be from a global, it can be, be from another champion giving you some kind of buff. And if it's one of the eight buffs in Cosmic Ghost Rider's kit, it's going to trigger that judgment. Now, the Precision Mastery, uh, Dexterity, uh, it triggers a Precision buff whenever you uh, dodge an attack. And that triggers um, his judgment, unfortunately. So that's what makes, uh, this is going to make a lot of fights very difficult. For example, right here, this Quake fight. It's super hard not to dex. I mean, it's it's easy not to dex, but uh, I have to end up blocking her specials. And by blocking her specials, it gives me the aftershock, which has a chance to stun me, uh, which it already did once in this fight. Um, but it also uh, just deals damage to me. So that, that's not fun. So, you know, if I didn't have to worry about that, I could have done a lot more damage in this fight. I just kind of wanted to see how much damage we could do. This was the first... Uh, Abyss fight that I really use Cosmic Ghost Rider for because I couldn't really use him against the thing um, because of uh, the protection. I would have definitely trigger the protection a bunch doing more than 300% of my uh, attack easily. Um, but yeah, Cosmic Ghost Rider he, he can hit so hard if you, if you can get it all set up right. Uh, you get a massive window of damage in and it is just ridiculous. So, you know, this quick fight, it's it's going okay. You can see we've already chunked her down a lot. When when I get those those windows of damage, you know, I can really take advantage of it and get off quite a bit of damage. For example, right here, you know, everything, we're about to be able to hit some big numbers here. Uh, I just want to set this up as perfectly as I can. Uh, but she's throwing heavies, you know, she's giving me these aftershocks, which is annoying. Um, but we're about to apply a bunch of armor breaks here, just a ton. We got the Fury and we got the Precision right now. This is like perfect, dude. This is like perfectly set up. Uh, we're about to hit super hard. You can see we're hitting 30k mediums, no problem. 47k medium right there. And now we're about to get even more armor breaks. Uh, it's just unfortunate because I don't have the Precision, but that, <laughs> that L2 hit super hard even without the crits. Now, one of the main crutches of Cosmic Ghost Rider is that precision um, because his base critical rating is really low it's it's super low so you know he's not going to crit that much without that precision that's why it's so important to get that so we did 200 hits we saw a lot of charges and we took off almost 2 million uh health off of quake which i think is pretty good this is a six star rank three uh Cosmic ghost rider but this is all without any boost or anything like that so you can always also use boost i haven't used him with boost so i don't know how it really scales, if it's really crazy or not. Um, but I mean, hey, it can't get worse. It can only get better. Now, another fight I thought uh, that could be pretty fun is uh, Medusa here. But uh, again, this is another tricky fight. It's not just a normal fight here. And you know, like you'll see gameplay and stuff of Cosmic Ghost Rider and, and Realm of Legends, like on the deep dive. 
and you think like, holy crap, like people were already saying he's the best cosmic champion in the game. He might be the best champion in the entire game. Like he's so crazy. And that's totally true. He is so crazy, but that's Realm of Legends. Realm of Legends is so easy and there's nothing going on. The opponent doesn't even do anything if you get them to a special three. So it's super easy to do whatever you want and get any kind of cycle you want get you want going. It's super easy. It's no problem at all. If you have basic understandings of the character, you can do it. No problem. In Abyss, on the other hand, it is super difficult to play him perfectly and to play his cycle and you know the other champions you're facing. You sometimes like like right there. I had to block the first part of her special one and then learn to dash back without triggering decks. Like it's all kinds of stuff that you got to think about and everything. Right there, I accidentally trigger decks. Like it's really not easy to play Cosmic Ghost Rider in a, a multitude of matchups and uh, outside of Realm of Legends, you know, and especially in Abyss, where there's other nodes and everything going on. For example, in this Medusa fight here, uh, this is actually where the Awakened ability comes into play and actually has some utility. So I said that he does not need to be Awakened at all in the previous video, and he doesn't, um, but it does give him some utility. So here, it, it's actually quite useful fighting Medusa here because you have to nullify a buff every however many seconds or she goes unstoppable with an unstoppable buff and that uh, definitely hinders Cosmic Ghost Rider's cycle. So whenever I have to basically time my damnation perfectly to nullify that unstoppable or nullify a buff. Uh, also she gets the Furies, uh, which is annoying. The auto block doesn't really matter if she auto blocks, it just that messes up my, my cycle to, uh, to finish a combo with a light or medium because then I can't trigger that judgment. Maybe I need the power gain right away or something. Uh, but yeah, right here you can see we get pretty nicely set up. Uh, we hit the damage cap on that special too, actually. There was an 85k crit right there. Uh, that was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. 54k medium. Uh, it's really all about the armor breaks. You know, the more armor breaks you have, the more damage you're going to be dealing. And that's really the key to, to getting the really, really big yellow numbers. You got to stack up a ton of armor breaks. And how you get armor breaks is from the special too. And also whenever your judgment loop resets, uh, the five judgments that you had get turned into five armor breaks. So if you can really time everything up, you can get some really, really nutty damage off. Um, but yeah, Cosmic Ghost Rider, I definitely think he's going to be a skill-based character, which is good because of uh, the the reward that you get if, for playing him correctly is, is pretty good. Uh, so I, I think he's, he's balanced a little bit in that way, which is really good, uh, which is really nice. And yeah, he's just, he's honestly so much fun to play. It's pretty crazy. And once you actually play him, uh, he starts to make a lot more sense uh, once you once you play him and everything like that. So yeah, here our judgment loop reset. So I'm gonna go ahead, drop the special two, um, get the precision and the cruelty, hit a nice special two right there. Like that did some pretty big damage and we didn't even like have the fury or anything like that. Like just without the fury, just drop an L2. It's really big damage. And if you haven't uh, dex yet, You'll get that precision, so like 80 to 90 percent of your special two is going to end up critting, and like in a lot of fights, that's all you really need. You don't even need to get to the, the L3 for the Fury. I think this guy's going to be really good in Alliance War. Um, I'm definitely going to be bringing him to war for all kinds of stuff and testing him, and I think he'll be really solid just because of how quickly he'll be able to end fights. Like, it'll be crazy, and especially if you pair him up with a Cosmic Boost. Ooh cycle specials oh my god so right here you see she's unstoppable she's got those furies and everything like that like this is not good this is not what we want so we uh got to get to our special three here now if we trigger enough uh judgments we can get the five we'll get the damnation applied she'll be power locked heal blocked and fate sealed so all those buffs will go away and she won't be able to trigger anymore until the uh damnation goes away which is nice she definitely does not need to be awakened just to play him normally or anything like that it only come into play like in a few types of niche fights where it would really be useful. Uh, <clears throat> this so happens to be one of them. So you see right there again, we'll block the special one and then evade the tail end of it uh, so that we, uh, but we don't trigger decks because that's the important part here. Uh, here you see I dropped my special two and uh, she would have auto blocked, but because the special two triggered two of my judgments, uh, it went ahead and applied the damnation debuff to get rid of those fury buffs. So, you know, it can be definitely the signature ability it does have its uses and can come into play uh, for the most part. Yeah, so I was at 1% health. Uh, we're about to die. We got it down to 15% though, which is, you know, that's pretty solid. That's more than what Doom could do in a single run against Medusa. So, 
yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now the next fight I wanted to test was uh, Killmonger. So Killmonger is a really big pain in the butt in Abyss, and I was honestly just, I wanted to see if we would even apply the armor break and debuff, because um, uh, basically what happens in the Abyss against the skill champions is they turn off your uh, ability accuracy, except for special attacks. So I wasn't sure if the armor break was gonna apply, but it did apply, so that's great. You can see he's a phenomenal Killmonger option, but uh, the real problem with this fight is I don't have ability accuracy on my non-special judgments, which sucks. So this is a, a really unideal matchup node-wise for Cosmic Ghost Rider, but I'm still going to do what I can here. So you guys, will, I, I want to show you guys what we can do here still. But uh, yeah, this is definitely not ideal because we lost access to uh, a couple of our really powerful judgments. And it's not even about the powerful judgments that we lose access to. We lose access to just easily accessible judgments that are that we can use to build up our other judgments. So one of Cosmic Ghost Rider's worst judgments is finishing a combo with medium gives you vigilance. Vigilance uh, only use is to counter miss. So in 95% of the matchups in this game, it's irrelevant, right? You don't need it, but it's good because you can just trigger that first and then it makes your next buff that you trigger 20% uh, uh, increase the duration by 20%. So it's a really good throwaway one to just start stacking them up. But in this fight, um, because it has nothing to do with a special attack, I lose access to that judgment, so that sucks. Now, one of Ghost Rider's um, most powerful buffs is his power gain. Uh, you know, it's... I, I don't... Eh, it's definitely top three. I, I think the precision, the fury, and the power gain are all the best. It depends on the situation for which one's the best. I think overall the precision could just makes you crit a lot. But the power gain, if when you if you use it correctly, it's it's so good and it helps just your loop and it does so much for you. Uh, but in this fight, I completely don't have access to that power gain because you know in a lot of fights with Cosmic Ghost Rider, you want to be able to get to a certain special quickly and it's just his controllability allows you to do that with the with the power gain buff using it whenever you want so yeah losing out on that power gain is the really big setback in this fight and i just i found myself like um using the special two gives me the precision if i haven't decked so that's one easy judgment uh using uh, the special two also gives me a cruelty so that's two uh, then the special three gives me another one uh, so that's three, the Fury, and then I was able to still get the one off my Heavy Charge. I was still able to trigger the Aptitude, which is weird because that's not a special attack, but that's four. So that's four Judgments that I can get, um, but that's it. You know, I, the, the, the other Judgments I have to get, I have to choose from, uh, there's only two other ones that I'm able to really choose from, and that's getting... Uh, if I if I get hit, I don't even know if that one, I think, it, I don't know if it was working or not, but that would give me an armor buff, but I don't want to get hit. Um, and then the other one is the special one, gives me an unblockable, but the special one sucks, and I have suicides on, so that's recoil damage. So yeah, I'm really very limited in this fight, uh, so it's very difficult to just get uh, five of my judgments active, you know, it, it's very difficult. I think I was getting hit, uh, even on purpose, sometimes, for that armor uh, buff just to not because I want the armor buff, but just to get that fifth judgment. You need to get five judgments to reset the loop, which is very important. Uh, so yeah, not having access to the power gain and the vigilance suck just for building the judgments up. But uh, we're we're still able to put in a dent into this killmonger for sure. Uh, you know we're still doing decent decent damage here. Uh, we're still able to to get them down and we just never ever have to worry about that reverberation so i think cosmic ghost rider like outside of abyss with this node uh he's gonna be just a phenomenal killmonger counter in general just because you never have to worry about reverberation man as long as the killmonger isn't uh armor break immune like a special node or debuff immune or something like that uh he'll be permanently armor broken <laughs> that's that's so good um and there's a couple i'm trying to think of some other fights where that will really come into play and ghost uh, really comes into play against her um, offensively you're not going to be able to ghost this guy because you'll be permanently armor broken because ghost is classed as a villain uh, and I get when you're fighting ghost you know she'll never be able to phase you which is going to be nice um, she never have to worry uh, ghost was actually a really good defender once upon a time uh, for flow ghost was actually a good flow defender Panda Man Pete's got like the most kills in the season than like any other champion on our defense it was really weird <laughs> Six star, 
ghost <laughs> on defense. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, we're starting to run out of the abyssal charges here. We only have seven of them left. So I'm just gonna try to do as much damage as I can. Uh, so here we were able to get in some extra damage, uh, but that's it. Uh, we died. Uh, made it all the way to the end of the uh, the abyssal charges, 280 hits, and we took off 50% of this health. There was like one point. We're at like exactly 50%. So I think that's pretty solid, you know, for a really unideal matchup for Cosmic Ghost Riders play style. Still being able to take off 50%. Of a very hard boss in the abyss man that was great now that was it that's all i did in the abyss for like the last week i hadn't been in abyss i recorded that gameplay a while ago and then um i was talking to msd i was like yo i'm working on my cgr video you know like what what, what would you want to see like as a viewer um and he's like abyss and i'm like yeah i already did abyss um and then he's like getting solos and i'm like no not yet and I was like, because I was looking at the map, and I was like, there are some champions that I think I could solo, but I'd have to go in, like, super deep into the Abyss. And, you know, it takes a while to get into the Abyss. Um, but then, you know, I originally, I looked at Ghosts, but I was like, no, that's not going to work because of the, the tech global in Abyss. You know, uh, when you're facing against tech champions, they, uh, they steal your power. Unless they're armor broken, and Ghost is a villain... So we don't have to worry about that here, man. So she's going to be permanently armor broken, so she'll never phase, and she'll also never uh, trigger her abyss node. So this is a pretty perfect matchup for Cosmic Ghost Rider, also class advantage, which is great. Um, and yeah, I can really show you guys the the full ability of Cosmic Ghost Rider in the abyss on this fight. And there's some other fights in the abyss that I think he'll be really good for, like uh, Green Goblin. Uh, he'll be he'll be great for that fight. Again, class advantage on against Green Goblin. You want to play an armor break. Ghost Rider will have a permanent armor break on him because he's a villain. It's just, it's perfect. It's, it's very perfect. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, dropping this ghost. <laughs> dropping on her, dropping the bike on her. Such a sick L3. And, uh, yeah, everything is going pretty good so far. Getting my loop set up here. We got the Fury buff going now. Get the Vigilance. Again, that's usually the, my go-to first one. Just start stacking the Judgments. Then I get the Power Gain one here. She throws her special, which is perfect. Don't Dex. I just get out of the way. Then we drop a fat L2 here. Got the Precision. Got the Cruelty. Got a bunch of Armor Breaks going, dude. Everything is going perfect right now. Boom, 40k Medium. Uh, going for some Backdraft Intercepts here. Dude, when, when you get the Fury, the Cruelty, and the Precision going, and a bunch of armor breaks, it's just, you just go to town on the opponent. It, it is so great. Uh, right there, I accidentally got hit as a whoops. Uh, and you can see it, I triggered the uh, the armor uh, judgment, so that pushed my total judgments to five, so the loop was about to reset, and I was like, oh crap, uh, I need to get to my special three to get another Fury going. So I, I just get there right before the judgments expire. This will give me a 45 second duration fury which is quite a long time so this fury is going to last a good amount of time and we'll be able to, to really put it to work so yeah we get some more armor breaks going trigger the power gain once again just to get to another special so you can see that power gain it's so useful for just getting to those power thresholds so right here i also activate a heavy attack this will increase the potency of my precision and my cruelty and but what it'll also do is it'll put me to five judgments on ghost so those are all going to reset and then apply as armor break so we'll be able to just get in more and more damage and also <clears throat> resetting the loop will allow me to get another precision and cruelty buff so again we're going to trigger that power gain uh, and then we're going to go for another special two here and all those armor breaks, boom, I think we hit the damage cap in there. Uh, some 80k hits, and then just drop an L1 to finish the fight, because uh, it's hitting pretty hard. And uh, one more combo, and Ghost is dead. There's an Abyss champion soloed by Cosmic Ghost Rider. So he's definitely going to have some utility in the Abyss for Killmonger, for Green Goblin, which are two champs that you usually want to bring someone for. But he can also just fight like most champions. He's just His damage output is so good that he can fight a lot of champions in the Abyss, which is great. Uh, I don't think he'll be very good against the Collector, though, unfortunately. don't think he'll be very good there, but there's definitely some fights to be good for. Uh, it could be pretty good for Punisher 2099, another um, villain, apply an armor break, class advantage. He has high block proficiency, so that's good. Uh, just 
again, Big Dame and Joe put. So, yeah, I, I think it'll be a, a pretty good uh, addition to some Abyssal teams. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this Cosmic Ghost Rider video in Abyss. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like. It takes a lot of work to make these types of videos just because it takes like more than an hour just to like get to certain fights and yeah it's kind of annoying so i would appreciate it if you just dropped a like but yeah that's gonna do it thank you guys so much for watching if you didn't enjoy hope you enjoy subscribe to more content peace out